Hello everyone. Continuing with the unit number six, video lecture series. The question number three is explanation of measurement of dielectric strength of gaseous insulating material as per the IS two five eight four with the apparatus required, circuit diagram, and the observations to be taken. First, we have considered for the dielectric strength measurement for the solid after that we have considered for the liquid and the third is the measurement of dielectric strength of the gaseous now which gaseous insulating material we can use we can use either the air which is the best or freely available material available to us second we can use the sf6 gas also but the cost of the SF6 gas is very high and we are using this SF6 gas for the high voltage circuit breaker although we can use the nitrogen also. So in this question we will discuss about the procedure how to measure the dielectric strain for the air insulating material. We know that breakdown in gases are initiated by ionization due to collision of the electrons. When the field strength is increased high enough then collision ionization takes place that is collision between the electron and ion causes production of another electron. This cumulative process results in into the breakdown of the gases. In this way the breakdown results. For this experiment we need some apparatus the apparatus is the high voltage testing transformer and the range is 230 volt to 100 kilo volt along with the voltage regulator and control panel. We need the spare gap unit and we need the discharge rod. Now what is the function of this discharge rod? Whenever the spare are get charged by this amount of voltage then we have to discharge that spare with the help of the discharge rod. This is the circuit diagram. We have to follow. We need the single phase AC supply to 30 volt 50 hertz. This AC supply is connected to the single phase auto transformer. It is also called as a single phase variac. Through this auto transformer, it is connected to the circuit breaker, and from the circuit breaker, it is connected to the step up voltage of the rating 230 volt by 100 kilo volt. At the secondary side, we have placed the Spear gap unit and this vertical spear gap unit arrangement you have to make at one terminal for the earth. The breakdown can be measured across this voltmeter. So we need the 0 to 100 kilo volt voltmeter here. This is the circuit diagram to be followed for the measurement of dielectric strain for gaseous insulating material that is air. The procedure is sim very simple. Make the connection as shown in circuit diagram. After this, switch on the main supply. Insert the key in control panel lock and rotate it clockwise. As it is a high voltage equipment, so it they have the company has provided the key and to on this panel we have to insert this key and we have to rotate that key in clockwise direction. Switch on the HD supply using HT on push button, raise the voltage gradually using the green push button on control panel, note down the reading of the voltmeter in observation table when the breakdown of air occurs. Reduce the voltage gradually to zero using red push button on control panel and increase the gap between the sphere and repeat the steps from 2 to 6. And after this, we have to derive our conclusion. The observation table is very simple. We have to make the five columns. First column is serial number. Second column is the gaseous insulating material, which we have to consider here as air. Gap between the sphere. Breakdown voltage in kilovolt. The dielectric strength has a formula. It is a ratio of breakdown voltage to the gap between the sphere. You can take a the gap between the sphere as 5 millimeter 
10 millimeter, 15 millimeter in such a way that the precautions which you have to consider for this extension tires ensure zero ready for volt meter before switching on the supply, ensure proper correction of earthing to panel, transformer, and spare gap assembly. So, this is the exact measurement procedure for direct strength of cashier insulating material that is air. I hope you understand the question and after the question you understand the procedure for measurement of direct strength for the gaseous insulating material. Thank you.